Hey y'all, my name is Alicia, and if you're new here, I share beauty and lifestyle videos, so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. If you're not new, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a random vlog of shopping and a little bit of spring slash Easter decorating, so if y'all want to follow along, then just keep watching. Hi! Welcome back to a, another vlog. I am very casual today and believe it or not, my hair is actually clean. I just didn't feel like fixing it. Plus it's been raining all day. So I just threw on a hat and this one is my favorite. And a lot of times it is on sale. It's from Vintage Boho Bags and this is an authentic piece of Louis Vuitton. And I seriously wear this hat all the time. And even if it's not on sale, it is worth it in my opinion because I probably wear it at least twice a week and I'm pretty sure that you can use the code BOHO10 like all the time but I'll link it down below in the description box and they have other colors too like the black is the back mesh is black but then they also have brown tan I think one more color in the leopard and then they have camo with the little patch but I seriously love it so much but anyways I am in Chattanooga doing a little bit of shopping but one of my main goals was to pick this beauty up I am so excited I knew whenever I saw it online that I had to have it because I mean it's pink and it's a Starbucks cup. It's a pink Starbucks cup, so of course I had to have it. And I have been looking everywhere for this cup for probably all of February. I've even had my husband looking and my friend Whitney, who lives here in Chattanooga, found me one and I'm so excited. And my second, probably biggest mission today is to find a dress pattern and some fabric. So, fun fact, I can actually sew. Right out of high school, I went to school for fashion design and merchandising at Omore College of Design in Franklin, Tennessee. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I would have stuck it out, but everything happens for a reason, and it's probably for the best that I left because, so I only went for a year, but I seriously learned so much in that first year but it was a private school at the time so tuition was very very expensive and they didn't have any dorms so i had to get an apartment in franklin tennessee if you're not familiar with franklin it's on like the outskirts of nashville and right there in franklin and brentwood is where all the country music singers live if that tells you anything about pricing um i loved it there loved the school loved the area but it just I knew to make enough money in the fashion industry to pay off all those loans I would probably have to move to LA or New York and as much as I would love that it just wasn't what I wanted at the time and I obviously can't go back I mean I could go back to school there but I can't go back in time and change that I left. I can only move forward. But anyways, I took the long way around, but I can sew. It's been a long time since I've actually made anything, so I don't know how this is going to go. I want to make one of Mallory Irvin's dresses. <laughs> You're probably tired of hearing about Mallory, but if you follow her, you probably know which one I'm talk about, talking about. She's worn it several times and I think she wore it during her book tour but it is half leopard print half floral y'all that dress is $1,200 I think actually over $1,200 and I was like you know what I could probably just make that I will probably be regretting it but I'm gonna give it a try so I am at Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna go in see what they have and I will report back. So I'll see y'all in Hobby Lobby. Look how cute these bunny wreaths are. And I love this tulip wreath. I kind of want it. I'm guessing those are wreaths. 
Is she hanging that by the ears? Oh, that's really cute. I kind of want that. And it's all 40% off. Found that section. Look at all these cute chairs. I think I found a pattern I liked. So I got a pattern, but no luck on fabric for the dress. I did get some other fabric that I'll show y'all in a second. But I think I'm gonna have to go to Joann's for the fabric because Hobby Lobby just doesn't have a big selection and Joann's has so much fabric. I actually think it's called Joann's Fabrics. But that's where I got all my fabric for school. I don't think I'm going to go today because it's all the way on the other side of Chattanooga. And it is almost 5 o'clock here time. So traffic is going to be crazy. The dress is going to have to wait. But let me show you all the pattern. So here's the pattern. And then I'll insert a picture of the dress I'm going to attempt to make. And... So I'm gonna do this dress with this neckline, hopefully. So I at least have the pattern. I just gotta get the fabric. And then look at this fabric that I got. Is this not me? I love it so much. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it. I kind of want to maybe make like a crop t-shirt. This would actually make a really cute pair, like a cute pajama set, but I am weird about my pajamas. I guess I could make some like pajama shorts. I don't know. I just wanted to go ahead and get it because I was afraid if I came back to get it, they wouldn't have it because that always happens to me. So I got the dress pattern, random fabric, and then I got two plain shirts because I'm going to make a shirt. I don't know. I might do it on both or I might make a separate one, but I want to make a shirt that says I'd rather be in Mystic Falls because I have a silhouette cameo, which is like a cricket where it cuts out the vinyl. And I have some heat transfer vinyl, so I'm gonna make me a shirt. And then I got some twine because I have this holiday picture frame that my nephew got me for Christmas. We drew names and he got my name, but it has where you can change out the different holidays. And then they have just like a general one if it's not a holiday. And I don't really have anywhere to set it up. So I want to attach some twine where I can hang it on our door. That way it's out of the way, but still kind of decorates the house a little bit. And that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm gonna go to Target. So I have all kinds of crafts that I'm wanting to do. Let's see if I actually, <laughs> end up doing them. That shirt, the I'd Rather Be a Mystic Falls is going to be super easy to do. So I am going to head on to Target. If there's anything cute in Target, I will show y'all, but more than likely I will be seeing y'all at home. Y'all look what Target has. <laughs> so many pink cups. Now that I have one. And not looking for them. Oh well. I have so many cute bathing suits. And I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video. But as of right now, the swimsuits are buy one get one 50% off. Look how cute this color block one is. I love that. I've really been into color block stuff lately. But I love all the bright colors. Y'all know I love this neon pink one. And y'all know I love the leopard ones. And then there's also a zebra one. That is really cute too. And then it looks like it kind of V's in the front. And that is really flattering when it does that. And then here's another one. I love seeing all of the swimsuits because that means 
that summer is on the way, but then it also makes me sad because I want to go to the beach. So this is actually the main reason I wanted to come in Target because someone shared that they now have Levi's and I've heard really good things about these 501 shorts and I don't think I have any Levi's so I'm not sure what size I am but these are super cute so I'm gonna try them on and then I like this black pair too yeah I didn't know that Target had Levi's and then I think I'm gonna try this swimsuit on and then I saw a cute wild fable dress I might try on too hi I am back home and yes I'm wearing the same shirt and I'm in the same area as my intro because I just finished editing the like Hobby Lobby and Target footage and I realized I never filmed an intro so I don't know if I was planning on doing it at Target or when I got home but I never did so I actually just now filmed the intro that is why I look exactly the same if you even noticed that but did y'all notice my shirt it says I'd rather be in Mystic Falls this is the shirt I was talking about wanting to make and the shirt I got at Hobby Lobby sorry if you hear the floor creaking I had to pick the noisiest noisiest spot in the floor but I'm so obsessed with it and just in case you don't get the reference Mystic Falls is where the Vampire Diaries is. It's actually Covington, Georgia. That's where it was filmed. And I have been there three times. Going my fourth time, possibly my fourth time in April. I'm for sure going in April, but I kind of want to go before then. But I'm so excited to be going back. I'm going with my cousins and I'm gonna be like their tour guide. She mentioned that they were going and I said, well, if you want me to go with you and be your tour guide, I totally will. And she's like, okay. And I was like, okay. So I cannot wait. So there will be yet another vlog coming y'all's way. But I just think this is perfect because I love Covington, Georgia. I would move there in a heartbeat. It is such a cute town. And just the fact that it is Mystic Falls. I mean, you feel like you're in the TV show and I love it. But that's not what this vlog is about. It is just, well, it's just a random vlog, but I already have too many videos <laughs> about Mystic Falls. So y'all probably don't want to hear any more about it. But speaking of shirts, I got this one in the mail today. And I'm so excited. So this is another one of Mallory Irvin's merch drops so she actually released this when her book was available to pre-order and i don't know if you could order it with the book or if you got it free if you pre-ordered her book and i missed out and she luckily relaunched it and i was able to grab it but i just love this one i love all the colors and i just love the whole meaning of living fully and it just really inspired me meeting mallory listening to her book because she truly does want to live her life to the fullest and that has actually made me do more so instead of wishing for things and wanting things I just am gonna go for it like I have been working hard on my YouTube channel for the past probably three years and so it has made me want to work that much harder because I really want this to be my full-time career and be able to make a full-time income with it and just do what I love because I seriously love making videos so, so much. I really hope that y'all love watching them. And I mean, y'all are even what's made it possible for me to get to where I am. My channel, I was able to monetize it last year. And I mean, all of that is just because of y'all already. So I hope I just continue to grow. I hope y'all continue to like my videos. And anytime you comment or give it a thumbs up or subscribe, that helps me out, that supports me, and that also lets me know that y'all are enjoying my channel. So it really means a lot. But if you're even watching this, thank you because even just watching means so much to me. So didn't really mean to go on that little 
whatever that was, not really a tangent, but enough rambling. I'm about to decorate my piano for spring slash Easter because whenever I took all the Christmas stuff down, it just looks so bare and I really want to start decorating it like all the time and I got I forgot that I had all of this it is actually all from our wedding because our wedding was Alice in Wonderland theme so we did like the flowers the moss like fake moss and bunnies and stuff like that so that is what I'm gonna be using so let's decorate the piano Okay, so that's what I have so far, but I am not done and I don't like it. I do like the little clock and then I was going to do like some teacups and clocks and stuff like that to make it more Alice in Wonderland theme, but I didn't really like that either. So I think next time I am out and about in Chattanooga or Knoxville I might look for some more bunnies and kind of do the same thing I did with the Christmas trees. I got different textures and sizes of Christmas trees so I might do that with bunnies. I don't really like the white ones with the gold ears. So I don't know. I still have a lot of work. I don't really know what I want to do so if y'all have any suggestions Please leave them below in the comments because I will take any help that I can get. But yeah, let me know y'all's ideas in the comment. Okay, that looks a little bit better for now. But too many of the same bunnies. And see, I like this little area with the clock and the pink bunny. Hopefully that clock won't fall and knock that pink bunny off because it's glass and it'll break. But yeah, so that's better. I think, like I said, I just need different colors and style of bunnies. So in my next vlog, I will definitely update y'all, but still leave y'all suggestions in the comments, please. Okay, the kids said that they miss ending the vlogs with me, so you get to see their cute little faces. Daisy wanted up here, and then if Daisy is up here, Copper wants up here, so I never complain them wanting in my lap because it doesn't happen too often because they love my husband way more than me, but it's fine. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog before I ramble on anymore, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I have some fun regular videos and fun vlogs planned, so you don't want to miss those. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video.